Hey guys, Working Fisherman here. We're at uh, Glen Cove Marina, and I'm just going to show you how we launch. Right now, we're going to prep the boat, which we've already prepped the boat, but this is where you want to do it. You don't want to wait till you get down to the launch ramp, or you're just going to uh, piss a lot of people off. Okay, we're going to roll on down, and this is kind of tight down here, so uh, you, you don't want to go too fast. Past this curve, you're going to have some uh, restrooms here on the right. You're going to have a speed bump. Right through here, it's a uh, single lane. So just keep that in mind. So when you get a little bit farther right here, you're going to go off to the right, and this is where you're going to uh, get out of the way so that you can uh, pay your launch fee. Now, for somebody launching right now, this lets them go back up the hill. So just keep that in mind. So we'll go ahead and uh, fill out the launch fee. It's a $10 launch fee to launch here. And uh, Butch has got a little box over there with uh, envelopes and everything. Just fill your information out, put your $10 in there. And then you'll make this turn here and uh, back up and put your boat in. If you've got a really large boat, this could be a little tight. Might have been the cameraman. Okay, you'll see how I launch by myself. I just get the boat where I can uh, unhook the hook there, and then I'll uh, take my rope and uh, tie it off to a cleat on the dock. What I like to have is a rope, uh, basically the length of my boat, you know, like a 20 foot section. And then I'll just back down kind of slow and uh, let the boat float off the trail. Now what I'll do is I'll come down let the boat keep floating back that way the next person coming down my boat's going to be out of the way and they'll be able to float their uh, boat off this seems to be a you know pretty quick way to do it you know if you're by yourself The biggest thing to this is don't wait till you get down here to start prepping your boat, taking your straps off and everything. Because like I said, all you're going to do is get people upset at you. So, you know, have your stuff ready to go by the time you get down here. And then I'll just go back up and park in the parking lot. Took my five hour I mean my five hour uh, energy drink up there in a lot. And I'll just show you a little clip of the uh, 
marina as we go out. What I like to do is start my motor up, let it warm up a little bit, and then I'll troll out for the ways. Uh, you will find some logs that gather up in here and uh, could run over one. But you'll also find uh, Conowingo at times could have a lot of debris floating, uh, like today. So just be careful when you're running up there. And also, once you come out of Glen Cove, if you kind of just angle over, keep going straight over to the other side, you'll run into Funk's Pond if you're looking at that. I'm going to come out and head up river towards uh, Broad Creek. So that, that's basically just a little, little look at Glen Cove if you've never launched there. It'll help you out with a little bit easier for you. Okay, now we're going to pull the boat out. I've already brought the truck down and got it backed in. I'm going to jump in and I'm going to fire the big motor up and I'm just going to drive on the trailer. You know, make sure you tilt your motor up a little bit so you know, you don't hit when you're putting the phone up on the trail. Okay, it looks like I didn't get my trail far enough back in. So what I'm going to do is get out, hook it, and then uh, I'll back the truck up a little bit more and then just winch it the rest of the way on. You can also see that another guy has come down to launch his boat and he's pulled, uh, pulled up out of the way. And he'll do his, uh, he'll pay for his launch. While he's doing that, I'm getting my boat, you know, situated here. And you can see I'm backing down a little bit. Now I'll get out and I'll winch that winch that boat up tight and just break the motor up a little bit more and I'm ready to get out of there That's a, that's a good look at Glen Cove Marina. All right, we're going to go back up in the lot and uh, look at that boat prepped and uh, ready to run down the road.
usually when I get back up here, I just fall to the left and uh, prep my boat and get it ready to go. You can see the angled parking they have up there. And then if you're meeting somebody, you can park right here uh, in the single spaces. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching and uh, like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks.